Welcome back. U.S. Senator Pete Ricketts is pushing back against the Biden administration's plan to transition the auto industry to electric vehicles. New tonight, Lars Sample reports on how the senator thinks America should approach the change. Speaking to transportation experts gathered at MCC, U.S. Senator Pete Ricketts makes his case against a plan proposed by the Environmental Protection Agency, which calls for two-thirds of new cars and trucks sold in the U.S. to be all electric by 2032. The Biden administration has one answer to be able to reduce our impact on the environment, and that's electric vehicles. A bold claim disputed by the Biden administration, pointing to efforts to speed up carbon capture and removal technology, roll out clean energy technology faster, end deforestation, and tackle non-CO2 pollutants. Still, Ricketts says switching to electrification in Nebraska by 2032 is not realistic. For example, we have a 340-mile stretch of Highway 20 between Allen and Hay Springs where there are no chargers. You would not want to drive that in a Nebraska winter. One of the flagship programs for EV charging is a $5 billion initiative to create a national network of high-speed EV chargers along major highways and interstates in every state. The Biden administration says the first two years alone will electrify over 75,000 miles of the national highway system. Ricketts also promoted flex fuel vehicles, which use a blend of gasoline and ethanol. The solution is to allow for innovation. Others say the push for swift conversion to EVs is helping spur innovation. Most major automakers are racing to the finish line, with several setting emissions goals that are even more ambitious than the EPA's. GM and Ford have decided to join Tesla's charging system, which may push more automakers to follow suit. One thing everyone can agree on, finding a solution isn't easy. It's very difficult to get towards broader electrification. Uh, what I think we should be doing is looking at all of the opportunities that are out there to decrease CO2. Laura Samble, 6 News. Last week, the Biden administration announced plans to invest $2 billion to boost EV manufacturing in the U.S. and help struggling plants.